heck of a run in his schedule. Here's the start of the first quarter. Problem. Take it on, True Boy. Are, are we dropping the boy yet? I mean, I, I see a lot of you know, I Is see a lot of True boy? out there. Uh, we, we can ask him. I, I call him True sometimes. It's kind of like the young thing, right? Well, at what point do we drop the young? What point do we drop the boy? So what it, what it, when is it the true man? It, it, that's a serious question, and, you know, I, I would like to get an answer. Sure. I, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, boys and youngs, in the, especially youngs. There's youngs all over the community. We'll put our investigative reporter, Adrian Lawrence, on the case. Yeah, oh, we're in good hands then. So nothing, nothing. True boy. Just Take it on problem. Just to put this match into perspective for you too, Cole, the consistency of these guys since the Madden Championship era, when we're talking about making these live major events, if you count this Ultimate League, Problem and True have combined to make 15 live Ooh. events in the last two years between the two of them. I mean, that's just unheard of. And while they're setting their audibles, why don't you tell the playbook matchup we have on this drive? Okay, for this drive, we're opening up. We got problem on offense. He is going to be running the Green Bay playbook. Hey, it worked for him in the Super Bowl. Yep, and then True Boy running the New England Patriots defensive playbook. That's that hybrid defense. You get a 3-4, you get a 4-3, and, of course, the 3-3-5 odd is the real gem in that Patriots defense. Yeah, when I play at home, that, that's the playbook that I like to use is that Patriots defense. Not only for that 3-3-5 odd, but I really enjoy the benefits of having both a 3-4 and 4-3. For the most defensive playbooks, you got to pick one or the other. Fournette gets free right away. Problem with a man to beat. And Harrison Smith, one of True's key players, forces him down at the 28. Yeah, and these are going to be two Whoop. real deal run games. This game might take seven minutes. Yeah, it's going to go <laughs> quick. It's going to go very quick. And we do call Problem the greatest Madden player of all times. We feel he has the most credentials. But we'd be lying if we if I didn't say in this Madden Championship era, though he's been to the most tied for Skimble for making the most final games, he's still yet to win that belt and get over the hump. But that's the only thing. I mean, because in Madden 17, he won 120 grand. Yeah, 120 grand, RG, and we're saying he slipped. No, and it's why I still consider him to be the goat. I mean, it's why we give him all this homage. But the point is, the, the new school Madden type player that wasn't around back during the Madden Challenge years and the Madden Nation years, they've never seen him win the big one. And that tarnishes him, his reputation to this newer audience. I mean, most of the movement and everybody knows what he's about. But if he would be able to secure that belt on the main stage, it would do wonders for his already amazing legacy. Third and four. Problem with a throw. And Kraus can't hang on. So after the big, long run, True comes up with a nice stop. Yeah, and we talk about these guys have combined for 15 majors. True's responsible for eight of those. I mean, he is just unbelievable when it comes to consistency. Very consistent, but sometimes he can get in his fields. Yeah, yeah but he's done a good job of that lately. But... Like with Chaos, we've seen True have some problems where he can't keep his cool. And that's a problem these younger guys have with sometimes. Problem not going to have that issue. So three to nothing here between Problem and True. Let's go ahead and fly over to Joke and Chaos. With already Joke on a drive. Repping that Echo Fox. Props to Echo Fox for going out and signing a player like Joke, too. When I tell you, this kid approaches it like a business and a professional. He really does. He's constantly researching things. He's constantly watching streams. Yep. He's in the lab with his crew. He's constantly making lineups. He checks every check mark there is to check when you're trying to build your ideal competitive Madden player. So that was a very smart signing by Echo Fox to go out and get him. He used to have trouble with keeping his emotions in check, but that's something he's cleaned up full throttle. Their first dip in the Madden football for Echo Fox. Second and goal at the nine. And he's got to get it going. I, you know, hasn't played well since the signing. I don't know if there's some extra pressure there for Joke. But you know he's going to straighten it out. 
I don't want to say he's played poorly, but he, he definitely had some games that we weren't used to seeing him lose as he's on his horse here. And Henry forced out at the two. I mean, he had the big win against Dreamy week one. And we saw him get upset against Deliverance in the club championship where he was representing the Cleveland Browns going up against Deliverance representing the Pittsburgh Steelers. And he was up big in that game and a couple key turnovers let Deliverance right back in the game. And he knows that's not something he should be doing on the big stage. It's very rare you see a guy like Joe go up two possessions and then give the game away like he did in that club championship. Yeah, could have kicked a field goal in overtime, but threw a pick instead. Third and goal here. Look at the strike first. Henry, no sir. That's going to bring up fourth down. And Joke, you see him in that strong close that we've seen Tweez been running a lot of. That's because they both run that same offensive playbook. Joke in that West Coast playbook, which is one of the more popular offenses. And the kick is up, and it's good. Takes a 3-0 lead here early. I, I can't stress that enough for the viewers at home. you got to pay attention to what these guys are doing. Look at their tendencies. Look at the plays they're running. And if you see something that you figured out or you understand, go and give it a try next time you're on the sticks. It's really going to help you propel your game to the next level. Even if you're not trying to get into competitive Madden, if maybe if you just play your friends or you're in a franchise, you just like to play casually online. You could really pick up some good stuff from these guys. Check it back in with True and Problem. True with the ball, trailing by three. His first possession of the game. Steve Young. To Shannon Sharp. And Sharp trying to battle for extra yards. Got to be careful. They'll mark it at the 45. Here comes the third and three. And there's a lot of respect between these two players, Problem and True Boy. They're good friends. They're part of the same crew as we discussed. But they, they, talking to them, they're both excited for this matchup. And all of our MCS era, they have never matched up with each other at a live event. So this is their first time going to get going head to head when there's something on the line and the stakes are high. Third and three at the 45. Young. The pocket. Going to take off and he's going to pick up the first down. We talked about the playbook for problem. What is True running on offense? True is a unique playbook we don't see a lot. He's in the Eagles offensive playbook. And when you're talking about problems defense, he's in that Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. So Young extends the drive with his legs. First and 10 at the 37. And, you know, we talked about them being able to change players out, make changes to their roster, but they can also make changes to the playbook as well. I, I saw Problem sitting up there goes, um, yeah, I'll do Green Bay. You're like, yeah, oh, okay. Kind of out on the fly, which is something different. You know, this is a season, so in between each game you can yep. make those adjustments, but usually in tournament play, once you start the tournament, you're locked, you're locked in with the playbook and roster that you locked in. So this is a, a different type of environment that they're used to, but none of the players are complaining. They really enjoy being able to make those adjustments from game to game. And I think it's a really cool aspect of the Ultimate League as well. Well, you could be playing someone like Young Kiv that likes to throw it around the yard one game, and then next thing you know, you got to face, you know, a runner-like problem. So second and seven. And Richardson able to haul it in at the 16, and True Boy is in the red zone. Oh, you know it's a good play when you had several people open throughout the play. He had about two or three different reads he could have made. That was a really good offensive play right there by True. Good route combination, good execution. Stretches out Curly. There's that spin move. Very comfortable with that behind the line of scrimmage. And he's able to pick up eight. Eli Clayton, as you see right here, good stick work. Whoopsie. Right up the hole, runs into his blocker. Good game. Well, those stretch plays, pitch plays, sometimes you catch the defense over committing. Able to cut it back. Second and two. See True changing his formations around, audible and he knows he wants to run the ball. He's doing all this to try to keep Problem off guard, but Problem ready for it. And that's Rimfro coming up from the safety position, making the stop. That's going to force a third and five. 49 seconds left in the quarter. You see a lot of audibling, and as you see right here, changing the formation. 
These guys are maestros at the line of scrimmage. They make tons of adjustments, constantly trying to throw their opponent off guard, to get themselves in the right play. Young, good scrambling, looking, and throws it away. He'll have the opportunity to kick the field goal and time this thing up at three. Yeah, it's funny because both of these guys, like you talk about, Scott, they just play so similar. Just both play stout defense, like to run the ball, control the clock. It's going to be interesting who's able to impose their will in a game like this. So three to three now with 24 seconds. Problem. We'll take it at the two-yard line. And he'll just power it away to the 32. Let's get a game update. You got Joke taking on Chaos. Joke proven special teams matter, Rico, shrugging off a tackler and taking this all the way inside the 10. He hears talks about everybody else's stick work and wanting to show that he can stick up for himself. That's right, able to hand the ball off right here from the eight yard line. Too easy, that's a touchdown. It's 10 nothing Joke at the end of one. A choke looking to get his second win. Off to a hot start over there. Three to three over here and first quarter almost coming to an end. That's going to be a quick game, Scott. We talked about that. They're going to run the ball a lot. The clock's constantly going to be moving. Only five-minute quarters. Every so at the counts. end of one, three to three between problem and true. So with these guys trying to get their road to the playoffs started, Joke with a 10 nothing to lead over Chaos. Tied up at three, it's problem and true. Start of the second quarter in a three to three game, but let's check on what's going on with the scores here. 10 to nothing as Echo Fox Joke has come out of the gate and looking good, RG. Yeah, Joke handling business like you know, he's definitely the favorite going into that game. Chaos going to need to turn it around. He doesn't want to fall to 0-2 in this season. The problem and True Boy both 1-0 this season. Trying to see which one of them can go 2-0. We got good ball games all around. Let's jump back to the guys that are most familiar with each other. And problem and True. And the first quarter kind of played out the way we thought it would. Guys that are very familiar know each other's schemes and playbooks. And I think we're in for a old fashioned slug it out match between these two. Third and 10 to start the second quarter. Problem. Dropping back. And Mariota threw it into traffic. And that's not problems game. If you can get them in third and long, you're feeling pretty good. Yeah, and he's able, we talked to Skimble about that, and problem, though it's not where he wants to be, he's able to make good reads in that situation, but his offense isn't catered towards those situations. He doesn't have some of those good money plays like the rest of these guys. This is big. Biggest play of the game so far, Scott. Fourth and ten, he's going for it, because it's Madden. Steps up and makes a throw to Bo Jackson. He's got it. And that will move the chains. Oh. Super clutch. Yeah, if you're true, that's frustrating. You get a chance to get all the momentum. Stop the goat on fourth down. Problem just buys time, finds the deep in route. Possession catches it first down, drive continues. So a new set of downs at the 42. Stretches out to Fournette. And there's that Von Miller. Able to wrap that up. It's going to bring up a second and nine. I like both of these guys. We got to ask him. He said, hey, anything you want the people to know about you, problem put, he said, everything I do in this tournament is for my new baby boy, my newborn baby boy, EJ. True on, oh, wait. Good run. True on the other hand, Scott, says he's pursuing his degree in computer science. So we might have a future software engineer on our hands right there. Maybe True come, once he retires, come coach some Madden for us back at Tiburon, Florida. First and ten. I got a recommendation for you, True. Ball to 41. And Fournette will pick up the first down, so back-to-back -back good runs by Problem. 
Some great blocking up front. You see this tackle? See that blue flicker that comes on after that tackle? That means the player had the secure tackler ability, Scott. And what that means is oh, those trucks and everything you see, if you're user controlling a player with that ability, you're not going to be able to truck them. That's Rashad Jones plays with Miami Dolphins. It, Problem with a nice find down at the eight-yard line. He's in the red zone. And the reason you want to just fill your team up with players that have that ability with secure tacklers, they cost more cap against your 900 cap space. So you need to be strategic with where, you know, you put them in and plug them in. Barrels down to the four-yard line. It's going to break up a second and goal. And a 3-3 game. Not going to be a lot of possessions in this one for either of these guys. Just a stretch or a dive right here. Halfback wham maybe, stretch or wham. Once he goes to this deuce close. True, true knows it too. Stretches it to the weak side. And a nice tackle. That's I like the idea of going weak. Yeah, yeah, and he did the motion to make it look like a wham play because, you know, the wham has that auto motion built into it. True going to be ready for that type of stuff. These guys are very familiar with what formations they're in, and they know what to look out for. True knows, again, stretch, wham, dive. Got to watch out for that stuff. And stretch to the left here. So third and goal. Fournette. This is pretty much going to be these guys' gameplay style for the whole season, what do you think? Yeah, and it's funny because, you know, we, we always call the problem the greatest Madden player of all time. You know, we pay all the homage. We always build them up. And when people kicks the field goal, people see him playing, they're expecting these one-play touchdowns, and they're like, oh, he doesn't look that great. No, trust me, he is a smart, methodical player. He's going to take what you give him. He's going to stick to his game plan. He's going to control that clock better than anybody else there is. And he's going to play stout defense. And that's been a formula that's worked for him for over a decade. A couple broken tackles almost got away. That's Renfro. So a 6-3 game here between problem and true true looking focused got to answer Detroit! Detroit! Here we go. 151 to go in the half start the drive at the 32 yard line as an opportunity to take the lead right before the half and Gurley Spin out to the 38. Problem with three timeouts. True has two. True considers his main lab partner, too. Young Kiv. It's not a bad person to have get you ready. He was also in this ultimate league. Steve Young buying time. Throws it to the side. And Ingram hauls it in at the 29. What a throw by Steve Young. I'm really liking Drew's composure right now. He just looks relaxed. He's finding people open. He's running the ball well. This man's showing up to play. So first and 10 now. At the 29. After the big gain. And he'll go to Gurley. And he'll... Eke out three, that'll bring up a second and seven. True boy, he's got, he told me he needs to shout out his family back home. He's got his little brother, Ahmad, and his mom, Erin, constantly tuning in to support him, watch him compete in these events. And what you get with that Evan Ingram from the New York Giants, this is the team of the year item. Is he's a tight end, so he's got him lined up on the edge, so he gets you decent blocking. Not great blocking for a tight end, but he's also got the wheels to be able to get open downfield as we go double box. 
with Joke. Back down in the red zone in a seven-point game. And this is right before the half. There's only 11 seconds to go. He's got one timeout and the ball at the one. This is Jokes who try to run the ball here. If he doesn't get it, he'll call timeout, take a field goal. Most important thing for him here is to make sure he gets points. Too far for a sneak. Makes it two possessions. Off tackle to the right for Joke. Hands it off and powers his way in. And with the extra point, the lead will be 14 right before the half. Big third and two on your right, too. True. He's short. And so Gurley doesn't make it, but Joke on the left side makes his extra point. So 17-3 on the left. And the final nine seconds of that one before the half, and we got 6-3 over here with only 50 seconds to go. Fourth and one, he's going to kick the field goal here at the 20. And that just shows the respect he has for problems defense. You know you're back at home, you're playing Johnny Walmart, or your friend, and fourth and one, oh, I'm going for it, it's Madden. But when you know you're going up against a world-class player like Problem, those one yards aren't a give me, so you take your points where you can get them. This is a good ball game, high-level ball game of John Madden football we have going on between two elite competitors. Johnny Walmart, Tommy Target. I mean, I'm not, I'm not showing favoritism. First and 10 at the 34. 41 seconds to go. Problem's got two timeouts. And this is the definition of a stingy half. Yeah, and this is where Problem's going to have to open it up a little bit if he wants to get some points. Can't turn it over. Stretch out to Fournette. Oh, he's got room. Got a block, got more. Steps out at the 45. That'll stop the clock. Yeah, stopping the clock is nice in this situation. It allows him to be able to continue to run the ball with those two timeouts. Even though there's only 30 seconds left, his main concern here is getting into field goal range and getting some points. Another good job setting the edge. Doesn't get out that time, though. Has to use one of those two timeouts. If you're playing problem, you better have your stretch D. Vinatieri is his kicker, very accurate. Not the biggest leg, but good enough. That was good defense right there by True Boy. That was good defense. He manually took the linebacker, set the edge, said, you're not going to keep killing me with this stretch. Now he's got a problem in a hurry-up offense type situation. Good defense by True, good adjustment. Needs about 12 yards, not only for the first down, but scramble. for the field goal. They'll mark him at the 36. What a big scramble. What a big time scramble, Scott. And he'll take a timeout. So this is... Should be Adam Vinatieri. It's going to mark march out there on a third and two. Be a 53-yarder from there. True. Looks like he's going to try to block this kick. There's that focus kicker. That's why it's moving so slow. I think problem got it perfect at the top. Means True's able to block this kick if he times it right. Nope. Maximum power, and it's up, and it is good. And so we have five field goals in this one. Nine to six at the close of the half. Hey, it's what I expected. We said, that, hey, they run the ball. They're stingy on defense. Looks like Problem wants a drink. Get the man some H2O. Look at it. Here's the scores at the half. Joke with a 17-3 lead. And then we mentioned 9-6 between Problem and True. So just before the start of the third quarter, you see the scores there. Joke with a 17-3 lead over Chaos. And then Problem and True. One of those woodshed matches going back and forth. 9-6. Five field goals. And that one kicking it old school. Yeah, and this is one of those games where it's so close. Both players just got to be so worried to not make a mistake. You feel like whoever's going to make the first crucial mistake of this game 
is most likely going to lose it. Both of them just playing very safe, very conservative, not forcing anything. Like I've said, this is just high-level Madden all around going on right now between two top players. So True will get the ball to start the second half. I'm more expecting a defensive touchdown or maybe even a special teams touchdown. Oh, this is nasty. Sharp. Able to wrap up Renfro. But a nice return out to the 42, and that's where True will go to work. That's steerable spin move, I'm telling you. Those steerable moves, you hold down the left trigger, right trigger, aim the left stick which way you want to go. Press the B button to do the spin. Flick the right stick to do the juke. It's a mechanic we're seeing often used by these top players. First and ten. Opening drive of the second half for True. Is it a Gurley? Gurley spins back to the middle. And Bosa is there to make the stop. Ooh, he had a lane to just get out into the open field and turn up field and get a big gain. Just slightly a little too much cut back inside on that spin. That could have been trouble for problem. Second and six now after the gain of four. Puts Ingram out wide to the right. We'll hand it off. Right close to midfield. He's going to have a third and three. This might be two down territory for him, so don't be surprised if you see another run here on the third and three spot, especially if he's going to go for it on fourth down. Oh, corner strike. Going to the air. And did Paul get it? And he does. First down true. Good check down. Smart Madden football all around right now. Nobody forcing anything. You see True changing his play. And we should mention, when he pulls up that play art, Scott, problem can't see that play art when you when you see in, you know the different routes and the runs. It's because they're playing online, and you're just seeing it from True Boy's perspective right now. <laughs> if we were looking at it from Problem's perspective, you would see all his defensive play art, but True isn't able to see that. And I think that's really cool for the viewers because you get a chance to take a, mo a look inside the minds of these great players and what adjustments they're doing, what audibles they're calling, and what plays they like to run. Second and six, Gurley. Found a crease. Maybe more at the 10. One man to beat. Is he in? He He's will in. get in. Touchdown, True. Look at True bobbing his head. Problem finally gets a sip of that H2O, but that was a big run for True Boy. First touchdown of the game. Good run, and these guys are going back and forth, back and forth. And let, let's be real, too. If you're True Boy, your first time playing Problem in, torn, in season or tournament play, getting that win under your belt is just really nice to have on your resume. Not many people have the tournament or season win against problem under their belt it's a feather in your cap take sure, a look at this again off. just a small crease there and then he's off to the races and that's just good stick work no ball carrier moves it's just all left stick following the space following your blockers truth's feeling it these guys will meet again in game number nine of the year 10 game season something to look forward to down the road both these guys trying to keep that perfect season alive. Both 1-0. and oh. You think anyone will do it? How, how long until we... How many years of ultimate? <laughs> this is year one, but do we see the perfect season or is it, is it going to take a while? It's just... It's so tough. I mean, you're talking about winning 10 in a row. Let's take a quick game break. He's got his first touchdown of the Ultimate League. Rico didn't come on offense, though. Nope, that defensive pick is what led to his touchdown. Small note, he just made the defense switch and put Dion on his team for this game. There you go, those adjustments. Huge, 17 to 10, 138 left in the third. That has to be concerning. If your jokes got, we talked about. He's he been was, throwing picks. He was up two possessions against Deliverance in the club championship. He was a heavy favorite in that game, and he threw two pick sixes, which ended up being his demise in that tournament. Now here he is in week two of Ultimate League. He's up two scores on Chaos and gives him his first touchdown by throwing the pick six. Joke needs to protect that ball a little bit more when he's got those leads. It's 
blatantly becoming a weakness in his game that, that's getting exposed. Eight yard gain after the big truck stick by Leonard Fournette. Problem trailing by four. Back to Fournette. Picks up the first down all the way to the 27. I see a lot of blue flickers. That secure tackler is popular. And if you're going up against a guy like Problem or True, you're going to want those secure tacklers all over the place because they like to run the ball so much and they like that truck mechanic. Where if you're going up against someone like Skimbo who wears the ball out, they might not be as necessary. Scrambling. And you remember, if you look back at the club championship, Skimbo had really made his roster to face someone like Blocky. So when he faced Problem, really didn't have the defenders, got exposed there deep in the secondary on some of those long runs. But that's what we talked about. The beauty of Ultimate League is, is unlike in that championship where Skimbo had to stay with that roster, he's now in a situation where he can make those type of changes game to game. It's a really cool aspect of the Ultimate League. So third and one. Ball at the 18. Problem needs a touchdown to take the lead. Here with 118 to go in the third. Look at all those goons in the box. One, two, three, four, five. Eight in the box for True, and he blows it up. It's going to bring up fourth down. At some point, you got to get into the end zone. A field goal. He's going. This is a momentum play right here, Scott. Needs a half a yard. He's going to try to draw True. No, quick hike. Quick True's hike. In the back. Couldn't hold the door. Picks up the first down. And we've seen True hold the door many a times. This time. Had the guys there. Just missed it. Game of inches. And that's an out of position. Larry Allen, who he put in just for this game. You remember old Larry Allen, that strength. One of the strongest men to ever play in the NFL. Yeah, usually, you know, an offensive lineman. But in ultimate team, they do have those out of position type items which allows you to see a Larry Allen play a little defensive and tackle. And Fournette. And gives the defender a ride all the way down to the four. I just love that about Ultimate Team, getting to see those old school type players compete against the new school guys. It's the only place you'll be able to see something like that. But Larry Allen, he can plug up that middle. They're facing someone that likes to run it inside. You need those kind of players to bounce it out. And that's how the third quarter will come to a, a conclusion. Five minutes to go in this one. Four-point game with problem on the four. Let's take a look at the scores before we move into the fourth. So at the end of the third, it's 17 to 10. Joke over chaos. And we mentioned problem down four with the ball on the four. Chaos is fighting back. Start of the fourth quarter. Problem down four with the ball on the four. After True Boy had a long run. Of course, at the top there, you see Joke and Chaos. Joke was dominating this game. Totally threw a pick six. Yeah, Chaos all the way back makes it a one possession ball game. And if Joke was able to let that game slip through his hands, he would be devastated. We're in the back talking to him. He said he, he wants to go for that perfect season. At the very least, he wants that one seed. Chaos trying to play spoiler early on. It's just like the NFL playoffs. If you can have a good record, you can get a bye, avoid that wild card round. And a bye is such a big deal when you're dealing with this level of competition. You're telling me I get to skip a free hell game? I need it, as Dubby would say. I mean, this might not be the right time to talk about it, but you know, when Goes didn't have to play Killer Mike, that's one less game that he had to play. Worked out for him in the club championship. First and goal at the one. Scott, Second and goal. Real talk right there. <laughs> He's going to be just shy. Real talk with the coal train. Sometimes I throw him in and then just keep moving on. I don't give you time to respond. Third and goal. Big play. It's two down territory for Prob. And we've seen True hold the door. I told you. 
Third and goal. Nope. Problem. Sneaks it in. That's going to give him the lead. And so the interesting thing here with the extra point is it'll be a three-point game. 4-11 left in this one. And it's up and it's good. There's no trash talking going on in this game. No mistakes. These are just two high-level players with a lot of respect for each other. It's going back and forth and back and forth. And it's, just, it's really get, coming down to the wire. Each drive is just so important. How about Problem answering the touchdown with one of his own? Renfro. Works it out to the 34. And here on the other side, it's another pick, but this time it's for Joke. And Joke giving chaos a little taste of his own medicine. And so a big time change of events over on that side. Yeah, I had a feeling Echo Fox Joke wasn't going to buckle like that. Said he's got to protect the ball and I don't know if he's doing that, but he definitely, Chaos definitely was on that one. Right, Big pick this. six. Hey, up, here 16 to three Back over here. Back here we go. 3.45 to go. Stretch play. Motion the receiver for an extra block. Boy, that spin. Deadly. Hits the century mark on the ground for Gurley. And it's not, everyone's, you see him, they're running stretch, they're running dive. It's not easy to stop if you're at home watching because you have to respect so many other things as you see true passes it right here these guys do just enough to keep you honest Good job breaking up the pass downfield and now it's a fourth and four uh oh problem trying to get himself juiced up yeah see him talking to himself come on playing for his wife BB Baby EJ, the movement, the movement, that's all his followers on Twitch. He's a full-time streamer. This is a big play right here. Oh, and he's off sides. And that will give True Boy a fresh set of downs. I'm, I'm looking at True Boy on fourth down to not have to snap it and get the offsides against one of the greatest defensive Madden players of all time. You'll take it. That's free money right there, Scott. First and 10 at the 45. 319 to go, and it's back to Gurley. Maybe got two. They'll make it second and eight. Yeah, we asked Trouba, who are some of the key players on your roster? He's got Todd Gurley listed there. Alex Mack, the grizzled center. And there is Joey Bosa. Getting a late block shed. No problem's gonna have his Los Angeles Charger on his team. Remember, problem was the Chargers representative in the club championship. Got a lot of love from that organization. Tweets from their main Twitter account, Keenan Allen. Continuing to rock him. Continuing to rock Joey Bosa. That was the jersey he was wearing during that club championship, too. And Bosa. One of the best D linemen on Ultimate Team. He has that versatility where he stops the run. He gets after the quarterback. 90-plus power move rating. 90-plus finesse move rating. He's the real deal. We don't talk a lot about the players in the trenches. But that's the legend, Dan Diodorf, trying to hold off Bosa. And Bosa's going to get another hit. Back-to-back -back sacks. Uh-oh. Pro problem starting Key in on True right now gets him to his second fourth down of this possession, and even an offsides won't save him here at fourth and thirteen. True's going to need to execute biggest play of the game thus far, Scott. Here we go now. This is huge. Got to get to the other forty-five. Needs thirteen. No. He's got to let it rip. No. Good defense by Prob. So 2.06, it's going to be a turnover on downs. Really nowhere to go, but I, I'm with you. you got to throw it somewhere. Yeah, that's the reason I'm yelling no in slow motion. I feel like on fourth down, you got to at least let it rip, see what can happen. Instead, scrambles. 
And now Prob going to try to milk this clock away. True's going to need to get stingy. Two minute warning. Second and eight. And this is where Problem thrives. He's the best in the business at closing out these type of games and managing the clock. He's going to go to the air. The job nice. user in the angle, and he's just got to throw it away. I've seen Problem run that play a lot of times, and every time I see him run it, I feel like he's got the flanker wide receiver. He's got to step on him and just needs to let it rip, and he's yet to do it. Might know something that I don't. Something tells me he's thrown that route before a couple of times. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it hasn't worked out. Third and eight. Especially in this situation, you got to protect the ball. There's Landry. I think True will save this time out here. Fourth and three. I like this strategy by True. Because even if you give up the first down right here, you still got those three timeouts and give yourself another chance to get a stop. Here we go. Fourth and three. This is big. Trying to get a fresh set of downs. Can he hold the door once again? He's going to use this entire clock. He's going to use a timeout. Is he going to punt or is, did he just want to take a look? I think he just wanted to take a look at the front true boy gave him. I think you got to go to the air here. This is big. This is big. You see True moving that corner out on the outside, inside just a little bit so he could shoot off. Stop that stretch for problems passing. Wide open is Landry. First down and more. He had single coverage on the left side and broke free. This is insane, man. At 29 years old, over a decade in the game, being the best, one of the best players in the world. And he's just still able to do it at such a high level. And that wasn't man-to-man. -man. That looked like it was a, just a cloud flat on that side, but no safety help. Yeah, what True's doing is he's got the safeties and everybody in the box. You have to look out for that run. Problem will run it on fourth down. And then you need underneath zones to stop those drags and all that. Just a perfect read by Problem. Second and nine at the 21. One timeout left for True. I like how True is moving that corner. Fournette. Take it to the 18. So now you got a third and seven. That's his final timeout. He can't stop it the rest of the way. Double tight, guys. Double tight. True will have about 35 seconds if problem wants to run this ball. Take it down. Fournette. Trying to battle to the 14, fourth and three. From problem, I'm coming out right here. I'm going There's to come no out way. in the offensive. I would come out in an offensive set and try to draw him off sides before I called the timeout and kicked this field goal. I think he's just going to go straight to the field goal, though. Needs to make sure he doesn't get his kick block here, Scott. He's going to wind it all the way down. Take a timeout. He has one remaining. It's a 31 yarder to increase his lead to six. Not perfect. Got to watch out for the block. See True moving the guy on the left of your screen, on the far left. That's who he's user controlling. He's going to try to fly off that edge, block the kick. This will force True to have to get a touchdown. It's intense. The kick is up, and it is good, and the lead is six for problem. Okay, if you're problem, you have to be careful kicking it off to True. He has so much stick work. Giving him the ball in the open field would be scary. Look for the pooch kick, maybe. Ten unanswered points for problem. Nope, True's going to get a chance here to return it. And here comes Renfro. This could be trouble. And that's where it starts. Let's get an update. Back down to that Philly. Here we go. Set. Grind now. Look it. So, so 27 to 17 over there. You can see the highlights. 
this is where True's hurt, and he, he, he's like probably just doesn't have a very high-powered passing attack, so it's going to be hard for him to get chunks here. Young will just throw it away. 19 seconds to go. And you see True's passing numbers only four for nine. Problem. I mean, th this is what he does full time. He's, he's a full time Twitch streamer. He runs the Top Madden website. He plays competitive Madden. He's got the Luminosity sponsor. This is his business. He doesn't take business lightly. Now yeah, the game is a final. 27 to 17. So Echo Fox Joe gets the victory. Here's a third and three. No timeouts. Needs to go 67 yards on problem. Don't be surprised if he just attacks the sideline here. Tries to dump it down for the first down and get out of bounds. Young. Rolling. Good scramble. He's going to run it. Picks up nine to the 42. Maybe has two plays. Good scam scramble right there by True to get out of bounds, get the first down. Not that the first down really matters right now. Got to be quick. You can't be indecisive here. Got to get out of bounds. Trips to the left. Rolls to the weak side. Throws into coverage. And it was caught wow. down at the 31 off the deflection. And all of a sudden, this is getting really interesting. Look at it again. Look at this. Steve Young, the lefty, rolls out to the right, the SWAT. And look at the concentration. That was Niles Paul hauling it in after the Chris Harris Jr. Last play of the game. The True got a miracle. Needs to get to the end zone. Final play. Bunch to the left. Barking out the orders. And here comes the heat. Throws it. No. Oh, what a game. And Sam Shields, the bronze, coming off the edge, making the play, and securing the win for Problem, 19 to 13. It was 10 unanswered. And there's your final scores. Echo Fox Joke, 27 to 17, and Problem, 19 to 13. So a 10-point win for Joke, and a six-point win for Problem. Joke able to secure it. Problem with a nice comeback. Able to hold off True. And Problem will move to 2-0. Both of those guys, Joke and Problem, moving to 2-0. And, and they're on a collision course sometime in this season. Yeah, that luminosity Echo Fox game is going to be fantastic. Hats off to Joke for handling business. And True Boy and Problem, that was a phenomenal game. Those are two world-class players. A lot of class and respect shown by them in that matchup. And I fully expect to see both of those guys late deep into this season. Well, let's go to Adrian Lawrence, standing by with Problem. I am here with the GOAT, who just took the win over True, and it was a very tight game for some time. How did you pull over the win? Um, defense stepped up late in the game, got a stop. We really were just grinding out possessions, you know, kicking threes, but my defense came up, got a stop, and then I was able to go up six, and then he had some, he had my heart racing I hit right here at the end. Uh, he, he was a play away from winning, so it was a good game, and I expect that. I expect those type of games versus True Boy. And there was kind of that scary moment there when you had that offsides call. What ended up happening? I was unaggressive. I tried to sneak it out there, and um, he caught me, so I gave up a first down. I was willing to risk it, though, in that spot, so he played good. And you're now 2-0 and in the season so far. Who do you look forward to competing against the most next? Um, all of them, all all of the players in, in the conference. I know it's it's one game at a time. I know you know that's what everyone says, but it really is. And you got to take a game game by game, prepare, get your you know strategy your strategy right, um, personnel wise and playbook wise, and you know just hope for the best. Congratulations and best of luck to the rest of the season. Thank you so much. To you, Dave Enrico. Thank you, Adrian.